gonna unbox the stilts I got off Amazon and so weren't particularly dear like 130 quid and the reason I have these and the reason I have these here as well I'm just gonna talk to you about the differences basically height job we're doing is gonna be really high ceilings like the ones in here and I can't reach them with that and I ain't stretching because it's a bad, bad back when you do. So these ones are supposed to go up from 24 inches to 40 inches of stilts. And I'll drop these links as well if you want to check them out yourselves. But basically, so they're going to go up to 40 inches. Let me just measure. This is my Marshalltown stilts. And these ones... Let's see what they go up to. So that goes up to 30 inches. So these ones should go up to there. So that's a big difference. That's, you know, that's nearly a foot of difference. And um, so I'll get them all packed here and let you see them. They might not be assembled. I'll probably have to assemble them. Even if they're assembled, just make sure you just check the bolts. So let me get them unboxed for you here. Try and do as quickly as I can. We'll get a look at them and hopefully they're good quality. It actually says this way up. So KMS brands. They're giving me 5% off. Switzer. Anyway. So yeah, they're not fully assembled anyway, so that's the heels, guys. That's the heel part. And um, you see. And so they were black in the picture. They still are black, but it's like a, a chromey color. So I'll just keep keep getting them out here quickly, just so you see what way, if you bought them yourselves, what way you get. And um, have brand new straps. Uh, for this job I probably will swap these straps over because they're just complete comfort like the comfort from them is just unreal so that's the side stabilizing bars trying to take them out gently here So that's the main stilt there guys, so you don't have to do major, major setting up. But what I will do here quickly, before I set them up, I'm not going to do a mad video on setting them up. Um, if anybody actually wants to do that, there is instructions with them. But if anybody wants that video, let me know and I'll disassemble them and reassemble them for you. So just want to take the bolts out and I'm going to make sure that they do go up to the well already you can see that's the foot um, so that's where my foot will be and you can see already the difference I've got there alone that's these ones set up down so there's already a nice bit of a, a gap there um, They do look a bit wider as well, so that should give more stability when you're up high. But I'll get them all set up here and we'll get a quick look at them when they're set up. That same belt, as you can see there, and that's the difference between the big, fully adjusted one. That's the height, that's like right up to my hip. So what's that? It's three foot, four foot up. And and the smaller one which is pretty big i'm going to measure it here as well because it said it was 40 inches so let's find out yeah it's 40 40 spot on so they are what they say they are which is good to know i'm sure they want to get pulled if not but i just want to show you is again quickly 
that's that's fully adjusted on these ones from Amazon. Um, these Marshalltown ones, this one's fully adjusted. So there's a massive, massive difference there, guys. Like difference is unreal. So this is really going to come in handy for them bigger seatings. You would not want to be going any higher than that on stilts, but that's the difference there. And take them two fully height, height adjusted ones away. And this is the two that are fully down. Not as much as of a difference, but there's still about six inches of a difference. So, you know, definitely, definitely gonna be, if, if you're doing a bigger job, and I had a wee quick walk on them, feel grand. Although I think my mate, the big lad, he's gonna keep on them big ceilings for me. So if he's maybe a wee clip of that house, and the big lad just gonna tear away and knock all them ceilings out up there too. Just while I have you, and we're talking about stilts, I wanna run through sort of what's wear and tear on stilts, and also some things that I've broken and replaced on other stilts. I had some silver stilts before these ones a long time ago. Um, but I'll quickly run through. So wear and tear, these pads do tend to rip off. You can see I actually don't even have one and sort of just deteriorate over time. Um, this strap was an add-on that I got off Amazon. They don't seem to sell them anymore, otherwise I'd have bought loads. But basically, these straps, straps do fray, as you can see that. It should actually replace them, but it still goes around my foot. But if it frays further down, you should replace that because I have fell off the stilts because a strap has snapped before, which was the, the, the top buckle that goes around has actually snapped on me before. So anything that's fraying like that, you should really repair it. And the second wear and tear thing you'll get is the feet sort of the grippers run away, you know, they wear away on you. Um, but again, everything's replaceable. So you don't have to buy brand new silts. You can just completely replace every, every part of this. Um, but let me run through a couple of other things that has broke and have, I've seen other people's broke. So I used to tie these really tight, these cups for your, around your leg. And I tied my one so tight before that it actually snapped. I snapped this up the middle. I think a five or six quid repaired it. So it wasn't a big, big fix. Um, and I've seen a fella's spring break before. Um, I think the big lad's spring actually broke as well. I'm not 100% not sure. Um, so that I've seen that snap. Again, it might depend what you're, you know, what are you cleaning this with? Um, you know, if you're putting oil or grease on things, I think they can corrode them. And I don't think they're even metal, I think they're something else, but it could be wrong. So that's the main things, guys. Obviously, the holes here, I'll just show you this as well. Just really quickly. This is another bit of wear and tear. You'll see that hole has kind of got bigger. It's not a big, big deal, but you don't want it to get too big. Um, otherwise, you know, it won't, it'll be shaking a lot, but the reason that one's get big is because that's the bottom hole, and that's typically the setting that would be used the most on these stilts. Um, I think, again, the lock nuts, they can be easily replaced. You should probably always have some backup ones because if you're on a job or whatever you're doing, if you lose them, you can't go on the stilts again Keep them checked to make sure they are fastened because if they come loose, the stilt can open up when you're walking and you can fall. Or if you're up top, if it comes loose, you're gonna shoot down and it'll be bad. So again, always make sure they're tightened every couple of, you know, even every half hour, dinner, just give them.